Welcome again to this lecture series on ALV reports. In this lecture, we are going to view about ALV grid display. We are going to take a scenario, usually a simple scenario, to give you a clear hands on on how an ALV grid display can be created. It is more or less similar with the previous lecture which dealt with ALV list display. I am going to take the same set of scenarios and I am going to explain you where it is different. Let me start out here with entering the transaction code FE38, give a new name for your grid program, hit on create, ALV grid display demo executable program, save it, local objects. Now, the process that we are going to follow is almost the same, except the function module that we are going to use for the grid display is different. Let me start with data declaration and let me go with a work area called WA EKPO, which is typing, referring to EKPO and I can give it underscore ekpo type table of ekpo and I am mentioning an input criteria yes underscore ebeln for ekpo hyphen ebeln you very well know whenever I give select options go to tables give that EKPO that you have used inside your select options. Now, a formal select query select star from EKPO into table IT underscore EKPO where EBELN in S underscore EBELN. Now, it is time to call the function module. This time, I am going to call a function module called reuse underscore underscore alv underscore grid underscore display once again you can see a set of code is being generated now i told you before whenever you see an exp exception commented and comment that with selecting that pressing on control and greater than button and whenever you find a table, mention it underscore e, ekpo and uncomment exporting, callback program and structure name. So remove everything else. Can be used when it is required, but this is all when you want to display something. This is more than enough. Just for a simple example. Structure name is EKPO and callback program is SY rep ID. Save the program, check for syntactical errors, activate the program, execute the program, and I'm going to use the same values that I've used. Execute. This time you're getting a grid display which is more similar like a list display but rather you can select a row, you can select a column, you can do any computations that you want for this particular column. So it is readily available. So the only display with between the list and the grid display is in list you cannot select a row or a column whereas in grid you can select them like this. Still lots of lectures to come on ALV. Uh, Hope you have enjoyed the session and got a basic understanding over the list display and the grid display. We will see more on ALV, how it is applied in object orientation, how we, ha how we can have our customized ALV in the coming lectures. See you then.